Hi, Professor Barkley Brown, Fatima Ali here, and my portion of the presentation was about direction and inspiration of Julie Dash for her film uh, Daughters of the Dust. Um, her publicist, Chris Crawley, mentioned that Julie Dash told me that I should get uh, this book, uh, Daughters of the Dust, by Julie Dash, and that would have answered a lot of our um, questions that uh, the other members of the uh, group had. Um, and so I've looked through it and um, got found a lot of good stuff. But I wanted to go over some of the people that she was inspired by. Um, this is Philippa Schulier. Uh, she was, uh, they call her, it says right here, the What Happens to Negro Child Genius. This is Octavia Butler, some uh, uh, science fiction, black American uh, feminist writer. Toni Morrison. This is Satyajit Ray. Um, this is a picture of a film that he did because he focused a lot on Indian women. And this is uh, Andre Tarkovsky, and this is a, a scene of one of his films. Um, so the book, it's also on Amazon, which is what uh, Chris Crawley to told me uh, that Julie Dash had told me to get. Um, but I got it at the McKeldin Library. So um, Daughters of the Dust, um, this has in this book that I just showed you uh, the screenplay. The Makings of an African American Women Women's Film, which includes Dash's complete screenplay, and it describes the story of her extraordinary 16-year struggle to complete the project. Um, and that's uh, what I wanted to focus on: is that the struggles were actually her inspiration. Um, I got from the book, which I didn't know. Uh, she says the stories from my own family spark the ideas, uh, spark the idea of daughters and form the basis for some of the characters. Um, she also said, when things got too personal, too close to memories, they didn't want to reveal, they would close up, push me away, and tell me to go talk to someone else. Um, so, uh, and besides uh, the more well-known African-American female authors like Toni Morrison, um, Dash was also inspired, again, by Octavia Butler, and Dash allowed her education and imagination to flourish and add richness to her debut film, so that would include her family, which was an inspiration. Um, ideas, myth, folklore, culture, the unknown, the sci-fi come together in Daughters of the Dust, such as what was the religion uh, or the beliefs before the Igbo Africans arrived as slaves? Did they, know, did they drown or did they walk on the water? Also, the aspect of spirits can enter a pregnant woman or that the spirit of a child can run amongst us before she or he is born. Also, um, in the book, she has a conversation with Bell Hooks, another uh, famous writer and uh, author, and they talk about myth, and Dash says, it's interesting, uh, she's talking to Bell Hooks, it's interesting that you say mythopoetic because Daughters of the Dust is like speculative fiction, like a what-if situation on so many different levels. Uh, like, what if we could have an unborn child come and visit her family to be and help solve the family problems? Um, about the unborn child, I wanted to add that, of course, we know, or I'm not sure if it was said by the other members, that she had an abortion during that time. And she says in her book on page 10, daughters would become the child that I would bear that year. Also, I feel like she incorporated her unborn child into the film with the spirit of the child, that she said this character was coming into the world to impart justice, a healing upon her father and her mother and family. Um, more about the Igbo myth is that um, she did 10 years of research about this and she found out that some of the actual sailors and crew members uh, from that scene about whether did they drown or did they walk on water, um, they literally had nervous breakdowns watching this and um, to this day every inland they, they call it, is this where it happened, is this the Igbo landing because it was so part in, um, of the Gullah myth lore and of their culture, um, it just never went away. Um, moving on, this is um, Oscar Michaud. He's a black <laughs> um, film screenwriter from, uh, I can't remember the time, from a long time ago. And his theme was about African Americans realizing their potential and succeeding in areas from which they were previously excluded. excluded. Um, and this is what Wikipedia mentions about who Dash was inspired or influenced by uh, besides uh, Butler and Morrison. Also, Satyajit Ray, who I mentioned earlier, showed you the picture of the Indian man. He made a series of films and documentaries that are considered by critics the most, the mo among the most deeply felt portrayals of Indian women on screen. 
Uh, Philip was showing her more about her. Her parents were interracial and they felt that having uh, mixed race marriages could help solve problems in, of the American social problems. Um, Andre Tarkovsky, he was a Soviet and Russian filmmaker, writer, film editor, film theorist, theater and opera director. His films had long pauses and metaphysical elements within his film, which is also what we see in Dash's film, a lot of metaphysical incorporations in her film. Also, Nina Simone, um, my, one of my favorite songs is uh, For Women. I wanted to play it to the class, but of course I'm not, I'm not there, and this is, you know, happening later. But there was a lot of elements in the songs that, um, that reminded me of the characters and Daughters of the Dust. The different women that uh, Nina Simone describes are also like the different women that we see within the film. Um, and uh, I guess that's about it, because I don't want to go over time. And, um, all right. Thank you.